So in this particular video, we are going to learn one more concept. That's very important concept, easy concept. But let me tell you the tricks about that. We are going to learn about a concept called bond energy. Mm, bond energy means what? It's a simple concept only, but I need to learn the tricks also. Correct. So normally, what is bond energy? Right. Suppose if I have an, a particular, like, you know, you're going to add or means you want to prepare a compound. So when during this comp process, during this process, so after preparation, you require to dissociate also to combine with one more atom. So basically your bond energy is the energy needed, energy required. The bond energy is the energy needed for what students? For breaking one mole of a bond. Okay, that means it is the energy needed to break one mole of a bond so that you are breaking them into two separate gaseous atoms. You have one, you are trying to break them into two separate gaseous atoms. That is this energy, bond energy. Or if I have to tell you in the simple way, in one more way, bond energy is an energy released during formation of one, one mole of a particular bond. That means you are applying energy to break this into two different gaseous atoms or you are combining two different gaseous atoms and forming one particular or one mole of a bond between them, one mole of a bond, then it is called bond energy. Easy? Okay. Now I have to remember what, what tricks are there in this. Let's take out and understand. First, let me take the first trick. Trick number one. What is it? Trick, yes. Remember, bond energy is directly proportional to bond order. What is this? For example, if I have C, triple bond C, C, double bond C, C, single bond C. Now observe, here the bond order is 3. Here the bond order is 2, here the bond order is 1. You only tell me which will have more bond energy. Sorry, which will require more bond energy. Yes, obviously triple bond. Correct, no students, obviously triple bond. Triple bond requires, let me arrange. Okay, obviously triple bond requires more energy to break. Correct. So that's the reason. That's the reason. Remember, triple bond has more bond energy, requires more bond energy compared to easy very easy let us see one more trick about this i'm going to write one more for you trick number two what is this trick number two goes like this remember bond energy is inversely related to bond length or inversely related to size of atom bond energy is inversely related to size of atom what is this ma'am i didn't understand this let's see let us apply this trick in an example and see for example i have hcl i have hf i have hbr i have hi now tell me students tell me which or whose size is small compared to everybody whose size is small this size is small compared to everything then this size is small then this size is small here this size is big i said smaller the size more bond energy that means according to my understanding the order will be hf is having more bond dissociation energy than hcl then hbr then hi easy very easy trick number two is working working let us take one more trick that is nothing but trick number three let's take this trick number three what is this trick number three the trick number three says that bond energy whatever is there is inversely related to lone pair of electrons number of lone pair of electrons or if i have to say electron electron repulsions this is also there let's see how it works let's see let me take an example about this and check for example i have c single bond c n trip n n n o and o f and f now tell me students which one has lone pair of electrons let's see let us see more so here lone pair of electrons are zero lone pairs in this case how many lone pairs are there one lone pair in this case how many lone pairs are there 
two lone pairs in this case how many lone pairs are there three so just now i said just now i said when our lone pairs are more yes bond energy would be inversely related that means in carbon carbon it has zero that's why the lone pairs are nothing bond energy would be more then nitrogen nitrogen will be more oxygen oxygen more fluorine fluorine more got it students they are inversely related concepts let me push the board to your inversely related that means lone pair lone pair repulsions are more means bond energy is what it reduces understood students all right easy easy so careful nothing simple to remember small small tricks all right thank you for watching i'll be coming back with one more trick thanks for watching thanks thanks for watching thanks for watching students share subscribe and like the channel thank you